when someone says, oh, like you should talk about it, it's like, it's kind of the last thing you want to do is talk about it. You know, I was 28 and you go from being, you know, one of the best in the world at what you do to what do I do now? Yeah, Walker Heaven could have got this. Well, Trevor's still going well, maybe dying a little bit closest to us for Australia, but Walker Heaven is powering away. Well, Chris Walker Heaven is going to win the Commonwealth title on this men's 100 metres backstroke. England going to get their second gold medal of the night. A great swim from Chris Walker Heaven. The time 53 1 2, and it's gold to England. A brilliant gold it was. What a great swim from the English men. Years ago, the younger athlete or the younger younger me wouldn't have ever imagined sitting down and reading a self-improvement book, something like a vision board, but I don't think you realise how effective these things can be until you go through something. I had a couple of friends that went through that transition period from athlete to normal life and it was like, oh, it's really difficult and I used to be so cocky, I'd just palm it off my ears, whatever. I had no real purpose, didn't understand my value after leaving swimming, so I refused all social company because I was vulnerable or embarrassed maybe, embarrassed because I didn't, I put on such a front for someone to see me at like my lowest point it was like, I didn't, I, I didn't want my best friends to see that. You actually become your own worst enemy because I was so stubborn. Yeah. Whether you've been depressed or not, those four walls are like a safe haven. Like when you're in a bad place, you don't want to leave because you're safe here, even though it's probably the worst place for you to be. So I took the same goal setting theory that I had in my swimming career and applied it to the next chapter of my life. Giving myself simple goal and tasks kept me focused. My daily or my short term goal was literally as simple as just going to the gym. As simple as making your bed in the morning, you've already got that sense of achievement and your day's only just started. I gave myself three years to hit one of the targets of my next chapter and I hit it within eight months. So for me that was like more like an affirmation of like, oh, I can actually be really good at something else other than my sport. And even though I'm a confident person, or I have been a confident person coming from my background, it was like, this was completely new to me. I don't have a degree. I don't have any of those things. I just have my, my chapter one. Unfortunately, it's one of those cases where it's not until the student's ready that the teacher appears. As lame as it may feel or uncomfortable, it may make you download the app, get the book that someone suggested, start meditating, just, just take the plunge. Everything good happens just outside of your comfort zones. You know, go out and get that vision board. Make sure it's the first and last thing you see. Just have it in your face all the time. Don't let it get away from you. Um, just reinforce it day after day. They helped me find a normality, a sense of calmness. You know, I still, use these things in my day-to-day -day life at the moment because they had such a profound effect that there's no reason to stop using them. But that definitely helped me find my feet eventually, but the process was obviously bumpier than I think it should have been had I prepared there. But sometimes it's not that easy to prepare when you've got blinkers on. Everyone's like, oh, do you miss it? I don't miss it in the slightest. Only thing I miss is being like competitive, but I don't miss the sport in itself. I'm happier than I've been in a long time. It's just in a better condition physically, mentally than I was the last four years as an athlete. To be doing what I'm doing, earning what I'm earning, and all of those things and all of those goals just sort of reaffirms to me as like, oh, actually, like you, you are good at what you do. You are on the right path, and just all of those things, you know, like just confirmations that you're making the right decisions or heading in the right direction. So.